No, so bean tins and bluey skull tins, isn't it? Yeah. Legends, welcome back to the channel for the final part uh, with regards to Dan's Peugeot 406 estate and the recent patching work that has been going on. We'll have a catch up with Dad then. Last time we saw him, the patchwork had been done. It was waiting just for a little bit of filler and painting. He's had another couple of days at it and looking at it, well, I think he has maybe solved the problem. In this video, we'll have a catch up with Dad and find out, well, the big reveal, is it fixed? Ah, good morning. I thought you. I'd find you in here. How are you doing? Mum won't let me in the house, mate. Why? <laughs> I have to live outside when it's, when it's sunny. When it's sunshiny. I'm yeah. pretty much the same. We're back then for day three, or part three, of the Peugeot 406 estate update. Uh, the wheels are off, but we'll talk about that in just a minute's yeah, time. Yeah, don't touch that paint. It's still... Bit tender. I won't touch the paint. Let's have a look then. So, what have you done since we last saw you? Well, I painted it and I lacquered it and then I flatted it off and did it again because it got runs in it. <laughs> oh dear. So, so, last time we saw you, it was in green, sort it? of red primer or red oxide, uh, waiting for painting. You've now painted it. We'll have a good oh, look at it yeah. in a moment. You've painted that entire sill because you flatted yeah. that off. Um, I've had a disaster look. What's that? Well, that bottom edge, I anti-chipped it, but the, look at it, it's crazed. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, well, let's... You know why that is, don't you? Because you've been rushing it. Because it ain't dry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, let's talk about the process first and foremost. So the, so the first thing you did was prime it. What have you primed it in? Just etch primer? This man. Upol etch primer, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Upol acid, look. No, that's what I did. That's, uh, ultra etch. Etch primer. Yeah. Um, you let that dry and then you've put on with a rattle can or with a spray gun? Yes, yeah, a spray gun. Mate. Spray gun, you've sprayed the green on. Yeah. What is the actual green colour of this, apart from, I well, 50 know. shades of green? I don't know, it's just green, isn't it? It's just green. Let's have a look at that. Look so, at that bottom edge there, it's all crazed. Oh, yeah, that's. That's horrible, yeah. actually. That's in fact, do you know what? That's shit. That is. That's terrible. That is. It's crazy, isn't it? The yeah. Is still dry. Uh, I'm guessing you're going to have to do it again. Isn't it? Do it again. We'll have a look at that in a second. We'll leave it a day. Or two. Yeah, leave it alone. Because I mean, you are not trying to rush it. I'm but trying to get it, dig it done before you got here. But <laughs> well, you don't need to rush it for me. Yeah. So you've painted up to I think about here. The bottom edge is crazed. You wouldn't believe it, would you? And obviously you can see that that sill has been done. It's bloody crap, isn't it? <laughs> It'll do. It's green, isn't it? It's green, it's isn't it? It's not got holes in it anymore. Let's, let's have a better look. So inside the wheel arch uh, you've repaired, and I yeah, can I see you didn't there. do very good masking on there, mate. Uh, it's got you, a plastic trim stuck in it, isn't it? You've been a bit Heath Robinson with this. Um, here's, the, here's where you've actually welded. And actually, you can't see that patch, can you? That's the best thing. The fact that you can't see that patch there. You can see some lines where the lines don't run true. Talk us about, or talk to us about, the fact that you've had to flat it off and paint it again. I've got some that? sags in the blinking... Oh, in, in, your, the, in, the, uh, in your sill lacquer. there. So, so you've I, painted this entire sill. So that's why it's probably not drying very quick, because it's got two blooming coats on it. It's mm. been done twice. This is, this is naff, this is. Yeah. This black anti-chip. Yeah, because it's, it's not dry. The paint's still drying out through it, isn't it? <laughs> so uh, what, what will you do? Just, just leave it. What, leave it alone entirely and then just paint just, over it? Just do it again tonight when it's had a chance to dry yeah. out. Yeah, OK. Uh, that is not your finest work. Thank you. But... What, my anti-chip? No, you, look, let's face it. You're don't a mechanic, you're a spanner don't, monkey. Don't like my... I'm, I don't know. And... <laughs> But you're not a bodywork man, are you? Really? Let's, you know. That looks okay. That looks good. I've been trying to get it done before the YouTube crew come. Yeah, well, why are you rushing? You don't need to rush. The last thing I want is the YouTube crew. What's in... this on the bottom of the door? Oh, it's masking tape. The... On the bottom of the door. Don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, but the actual, the actual patch area. Is relatively it's good. Shy, it's, isn't it's, it? If I if I'd paid to have that done, I should have been taking it back. If you'd it? paid to have that done, yeah, absolutely. If you'd paid to have it painted, you would be, wouldn't you? Uh, but I've seen worse come out of body shops. It's green, isn't it? It's green. 
Are you happy with the results? It's good enough for me. <laughs> I'm going to get it high, car jacked, and then she'll get me insurance money for it. <laughs> Here's your £7.50, Mr. Keepland. What's that you've got there? Just stirring this up, ready. Ready. Um, so the paintwork, not so good. Not as good as the bodywork, but it's not rusty, is it? And it's 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 not got a hole in it's it. It's not got a hole in it. It's been 50 shades of green for a long time. This panel has not matched the doors. This wing has not matched the bonnet. Why is it all different sorts of colours of green? Because that's the way it is. <laughs> it's just the way it is. It's Harlequin. Ha oh, Harlequin, Harlequin green. It is. What are you putting on there now? Just an experiment. normally do that. No. I... Because it, but it always goes rusty on that bottom edge. When you say you don't normally do it, don't normally want anti-chip it? No. But it should be. Should be black? Yeah. They should be black up to this line, shouldn't they, here? No. We'll see. If I remember rightly. Anyway. I'm good. not panicking. But what you're saying is, uh, for the sake of what, three days work, and how much does it cost? 50 quid? Not even that. 40. 40 quid. You've repaired your Peugeot and it's back on the road for another. And she's been patched underneath here. Yeah, yeah no, I've seen. She's been patched under there. I know, you've shown me. That rattles. Does it oh, rattle or was it your uh, lighter hitting against it? Oh, it's over, isn't it? I ain't got. I want to get it dried out so I can stick some wax in there. Yeah. Well, oh, there's no rush, is there? That's what I'm waiting for. There's no rush. I put a drain hole in there. Do you know what the best thing about this car is that's fared the best? <laughs> What's that? The wheels. I, I, can we take a look at your wheels? It's unbelievable. <laughs> they must have made them out of better aluminium than what they do these I, days. I, I can't believe that these have never been refurbished nope. in, in, in the entire life of but the car. They're not corroded, mate. They have, exactly, but look at them. Look at the back edge. Look. Yeah, unbelievable. Unbelievable. The wheels look. on this are blooming shite. They were shite at look about at five years old. What's that on the Nissan Note? Oh, it's got great big festering cancers on the inside edge, it has. Oh. In here. In here, there's big, horrible festering things. I think you're right, though. They don't make it with the same quality of alloy now. No, so bean tins and bloody skull tins, isn't it? Yeah, that skull one. tins. But yeah, look at those alloy wheels. Best thing about the car. It's made, it's, it must be the quality of the alloy. Yeah, it must be, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, think, yeah. I think lots of people are saying, and do you know what I hate as well? Diamond cut. Well, this is diamond cut. But yeah. They're just starting. It's not relative, though, because if you look, it's one of the front ones, mate, on the inside edge, Yeah. not, not where it's been diamond cut, Got great big yeah, I can scabs. See. Yeah, on a car that's what ten, 10 years year old. old yeah, but they've been like it for longer. Than, they've yeah. been like it for five years. And so then yeah, they get crowded. Best thing about the car, I have always said, is the alloy wheels. Fantastic. It's the alloy they've used. It's got to be. What's next for the Peugeot 406 estate? Just leave it there to dry out, me old man. Yeah, you're going to do the anti-chip again. Yeah. Uh, are you going to paint that sill again, or why? But, so what I'm saying is you're happy you're happy with the actual paint on the sill. Better than what it was. Yep, I agree. Uh, why are the wheels off? Just so you can give them a clean. Well, no, I needed to get under there because I've got the liner out there, isn't I? Oh, of course. But you're not doing any mechanical work to the, the front no, brakes sorry. or anything like that? No, No mechanicking. No mechanicking. And here's the liner. You're going to give that a jet wash, I'm assuming. Well, I think it'd be prudent. It'd be you? a good idea. Well, wasn't it? well, what are we going to do to this van then? Well, we'll talk about brakes. that in a minute in a separate video. That's why a separate I'm here. video. We're doing uh, doing van stuff, but that's it then. Van Part three stuff. of the 406 estate. Liner's got to go back in. <laughs> I think you should collect up Peugeot 406 alloy wheels and sell it as high quality aluminium. High quality alloys. Yeah. Um, still happy to keep the Peugeot then. I 
I think it would be a blessing if it did go terminal, <laughs> then it'd be forced me hand to get rid of it. To buy a new car? Yeah. If it went terminal, I just have to do something. I suppose <laughs> the worst case scenario is the cam belt snaps or something. Yeah, but I did that about five years ago. Yeah. It's been done twice since I've owned it. Is it an interference engine? Yeah. Yeah, so if it goes, it goes, doesn't it? I don't think that's going to happen. We'll jet wash this. We'll put it hey, back I've on the car. I've put 100 miles on the blinking out Hyundai. Yeah, is it still going? Yeah. Oh, good. It's that's... not making any shuff, shuff, shuffing noise. That's good news. Um, did you enjoy the work on the Peugeot this week? I like to just keep my hand in for a bit of bodging. <laughs> oh, they like this in Malaysia. We're going to do some work then this morning on the van, which will be coming to a separate video. Uh, I'm glad you sprayed that when I wasn't here, because I'd have got the blame for that. You would? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought, mate. I just suggested where to put your camera. Yes, indeed. Good. Not the best job then, but uh, could be a lot worse. It's green and it's not got holes in it anymore. And on that note, cue the outro. And now you can see it's been repainted. All that crazing has gone. Excellent news. <laughs> Boston's answer to Homer Simpson. <laughs> It'd not be a man, it'd be an eating machine. Well, there you have it then. Hopefully, another year or so of trouble free motoring for the Peugeot 406 estate. The bodywork now all complete. And actually, well, it is still 50 shades of green, but. It's on the road, and like many of you have said, you don't see many of these old Peugeot 406s on the road, especially the pre-facelift. So the fact that Dad is keeping it on the road is a good thing. Still left to do? Well, put the wheels back on, and then, I suppose, give it a good detail and a wash. If you've enjoyed this video series, a little thing that we've done on Dad's 406 estate, let us know in the comments down below. We've still got a clutch to repair or replace on here, thanks to the good people of YouTube who's donated to that project. That is coming at some point, but there's lots of other things going on in the background as well. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up please if you haven't already done so. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so, not only to catch up with what we're doing with the 406 estate, but other things as well. And until next time, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoy making it. I've selected a couple more videos here for you that I think that you might like from my previous collection. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. It really helps keep you up to date.